Hey, great to have you here, and it's great news that you have a new film out. I'm going to get the title away. It's quite a mouthful, the title. It is. Uh, it's called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. That's right. Uh, it's out on Friday. It's a very specific title. I don't want to put any spoilers in, but does he have a bad day? Is that what happens there? Uh, the kid has a bad day. No one really cares. He wishes a bad day on the rest of his family, and then they have a bad day. So you have a bad day as well? Uh, eventually, yes. We uh, all have a very terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Got to <laughs> you don't play the kid in the film, though. I do. <laughs> yeah. A lot of prosthetics. Um, no, I am the kid's dad. Okay. I am Alexander's father. OK. And do you channel your own experience as a father at home when you perform as a, a father on screen, or is it not that way? No, Jen Garner and I uh, play the parents, and we, we both brought in elements of who we are as, as parents. And if anything didn't ring true, we definitely pointed it out. I guess what's nice about making a film like this is you can watch this with your children. Yes, you, you can. How old are your kids now? My kids are 10 and 13, and they saw it a couple of weeks ago. And they liked it? They Well, what am I going to say? Am I going to say <laughs> they hated it? They loved it. Yeah. You know what? It's actually... It's one of those... You never know when you do a movie, and then you go to see it, and you're hopeful. Yeah. And this one turned out really well. It's actually quite funny. So I was, well, I was I've happy. seen it. I enjoyed it, too. <laughs> I'm being honest. You know, my wife and I went to see it in a screening room at Disney and holding each other's hands like, I, I don't know. We'll see. And it actually turned out well. So, so I, I guess even when you're in a film, I guess you never know until that moment when it's all been put together. You don't. Because sometimes you think, wow, that was fun, and then it's terrible. <laughs> um, and, and other times you're just, you don't know. You don't have a sense of it. And uh, somehow it magically turns out well. And how long after a film has been released can you talk to people honestly and say that was terrible? Never. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to maintain with you the people involved. You can never admit to it. Okay. So if you asked me, I would say all of them are fantastic. <laughs> Every single film Every, you made. Uh, and I enjoyed working with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Before we see a clip from this, there, you do work with some animals in this film. There's some close-up animal action. I tend to work with animals quite often. You've done a lot and of animals. I was really intrigued by your conversation before. Uh, yeah, I find myself working with children and animals quite a bit. You work with... Uh, there's a kangaroo scene in this movie. Which... Kangaroos are odd animals. <laughs> um, what I didn't understand... I'd never been close to a kangaroo. Kangaroo's tail is just one massive muscle. And they can put their entire weight back on their tail and do serious damage with their, their hind legs. Have you worked closely with kangaroos, Sir David? Yeah, I have, actually. Um, done lots of stuff about the way in which they produce their young, which is quite complicated, isn't it? I have no idea. <laughs> I only know they have the big, horrible-looking tail. You're, you're not going to be taking over from Sir David, then. I can tell the, the level of knowledge there. That, I, I, I would agree with that. <laughs> But I guess they have a lot of people making sure that things don't go awry when you have the bigger beasts on set with That's, you. They are animal wranglers. OK. Well, what, which animals have you worked with where you thought things might go in the wrong direction? I worked on a movie called Evan Almighty where I was doing a scene with a baboon. And they'd given me no instruction at all. And so I sat next to the baboon. And in the scene, I was supposed to take a drink, put the drink down, and the baboon was trained to pick up the drink and take a drink as well. We were sharing the drink. And I started... I, I decided that I'd improvise with the baboon. <laughs> and I... <laughs> and I looked at the baboon after he drank a few times, and I said, hey, man, don't, don't take all of it. And the baboon went, yeah! <laughs> The, the, the threat of, of bodily harm. Um, and, and it was kind of scary, and the, uh, the trainer afterwards said, oh, yeah, don't, don't look at the baboon. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to the baboon, don't look at the baboon. And uh, I thought, well, you might have instructed me as to this previously before I did the scene with the baboon. Um, Let's have a look. This is a clip from Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. It's out on Friday and it's a comedy for everybody. <laughs> it's out on Friday. Uh, I guess uh, with the title of this movie being about a bad day, that would be the question you get asked most about it, is whether you have had a terrible bad day. Yeah. Uh, and what would the answer be to that? Uh, yeah, everybody does. I think my bad days consist of bad days that I would talk about 
you know, a flat tire, your kid leaves his homework and you have to drive it to school, that sort of thing. They're more annoyances than, than really terrible. What about the recent thing I read, and I hope this isn't too personal, that you had, a, you had a hip replaced? I did. That was a bad day. That must be a pretty bad day. <laughs> yeah, that was, about a, that was almost exactly a year ago. Um, I had a hip replacement, a full hip replacement, and, uh, and I held off as long as I could until... The doctor said, hold off until you start to limp and then have a hip replacement. So I went in, uh, my wife brought me in, and I, Yolanda, shaved my, my pubic hair, I'll just say it. Yeah. And, uh, which I didn't know, I didn't know Yolanda was gonna be doing that. <laughs> and she just decided, again, like the baboon, no one tells me anything. <laughs> um, so the pubic hair is shaved, and then the doctor came in and said, so let's talk about your hip. What do you want it made out of? And I thought, this has been months leading up to this. <laughs> and, and I'm about 20 minutes from having this permanent piece of body installed. And well, you could go, it's like I'm picking out a car. Yeah. You could go with the titanium or you could go. Now, I'd recommend the ceramic because <laughs> it's very, very durable. You might be able, it might last forever. However, it might squeak. That's the one, <laughs> the one downside. Uh, like, okay, do you, want, do you want it to last, but do I want the squeaky hip? <laughs> so, so, so I went with the ceramic squeak hip, yeah. and I said, give me the, give me the squeaky one. So they, they dope me up, and the guy, the guy doing the anesthesia said, now, do you want to see any of the operating room? Do you want have to have any awareness from here on out. And I said, not at all. Yeah. I, want, I want to be asleep for the next several weeks. Yeah. I don't want to have any recollection of this. So he, he gave me my medication, but it didn't quite kick in as quickly as it should have. They rolled me into the operating room and w it looked like a torture chamber. It was, <laughs> there, was a, there was a bed, there was the operating table looked like a, a, a spit, a rotisserie <laughs> that you would roast a chicken on. It, and what they do is they put you on this, they strap you down, and they turn you around so they can get better uh, access. In wherever they in need to wherever, go. In wherever, you know, to chop out the hip. And so I was freaking out, and I saw ax saws. And, <laughs> and, and the last image that I had in my head was a woman putting on a helmet. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. She was, it was a helmet with a huge, like a visor and a light. And I just saw these eyes and then I went out in abject terror. Oh no. Um, and then I had my But name. it was all good. You, it's, you... it's fine. <clears throat> David, you had you had a knee replaced a while back, didn't you? Two, both knees have been yeah, done. Both Those knees. are mine. Don't even squeak. <laughs> Could you mind? Give me a squeak. <laughs> That's supposed to be a much more difficult operation. It is, knees. and the agony is worse. Yeah, yeah. actually, it's fine. I mean, terrific. <laughs> David, you David, you don't have to. <laughs> We're great. Okay. okay. Can I just say, yeah, really that, that was the least sexy can-can I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. We're taking that on the road. <laughs> OK. Uh, hey, I've got, to, I've got to mention another film which is just incredible. Anchorman. Those of us who are no. fans of the Anchorman series. <laughs> and, of course, the character of Brick. And I, I, have you seen it? You don't really watch a lot of modern TV or you don't read fiction, I believe, either, Sir David. Not is that much, correct? No. So you haven't seen any of these films? I haven't. OK, well, I recommend I'm going to send you Anchorman over. Good. And Great. I want to hear what you think about I, it. I Great. want to hear what you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to come back and report for us about what you think of Anchorman. Uh, but where did Brit come from? Because it's such a bizarre invention. Um, well, it was a script. You know, there were very few lines and uh, he just kind of stands there. And, and generally doesn't know where he is or who he's talking to. Which of Brick's many phrases is the one that gets shouted out at you the most often? Loud noises, probably. Yeah. <laughs> or I ate a red candle, but loud noises... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> loud noises apparently was shouted during a break in play at Wimbledon. <laughs> and just, and I, I heard about it, that someone just shrieked it. And uh, so that actually made me very proud. I think <laughs> Um, let me, uh, there's one thing in the, um, in the film that you do, which is very impressive. We saw it in the clip earlier, where you were catching shrimp in your mouth. Right. Now, was that CGI? Was that uh, all the kind of smoke and mirrors? Or were you actually, you were catching them? I was catching them. How I, many did you manage? Probably about eight. Wow. Yeah. That's They're alive good. or dead? They were dead. Oh. Um, Peanuts. I know. <laughs> 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 But that's quite some skill. Have you always had this talent? I don't know, and I didn't know. I mean, they were prepared to d computer generate that, but I was able to catch Didn't them. need to? No, did I didn't you, need to. Did you still like shrimp after the event? Not really. OK. I don't have any shrimp here. OK. But I, I have uh, a fruit bowl. OK. Oh, and, and I wonder whether we could try a couple of grapes. Sure. OK. I, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to do it. Well, let's try a couple. All right, let's try. David, you want in on this? Not with your hands. Anyone catch a grape with their hands? That's what I... Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see this. All right. Don't choke on one. All right, I'll try. Have you ever given anyone the Heimlich maneuver? So I David... beg your pardon. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. This is, uh... this is very well done. Is... <laughs> You've just joined us. Welcome to Gay Fruit Party. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. Forget that one. Up. I gotta, I gotta okay, move. Okay, I gotta here move we go. Around. Okay. One. Yes. Focus. That one up there. Okay. Let's try. That's pretty good. <laughs> Should we try something bigger? Okay. Uh, it's nearly. We could. It's Halloween. Why All don't right. we go? Okay, you, you up for this? I'm, okay, yeah. here we go. Okay, take okay. a step back because I want to get a swing on this. Okay. Go back one more step. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? And good luck. <laughs> wow! Look at that! Wow! Look at that! How? That's quite something. You see? And so David thought TV was dumbing down. <laughs>